This busy day of conference play kicks off at the Siegel Center in Richmond, Virginia. Northeastern visits the home standing Rams. This is Jonathan Lee on the inside, right back to Kari Black with Chase and Allen. Allen has a step on Nixon. Got people in the air. Nixon with the rejection ahead of the pack. All right, power throw down by Bradford Burgess. We've got 10 to shoot. Rodriguez to kick to Burgess. Got it. Rodriguez tries to push it inside to the man you mentioned. Brandenburg and it got turned over now Chase Allen with authority hits the deck after the slam one and done of the Huskies Rodriguez pushing it up the clean look for Bradford 94 feet up and down and Northeast has got to be careful not to get into that Brandenburg launches a three and hits nothing but net to single digits Chase and Allen front of the iron into the hands of Black Gets it back to Allen for the pretty finish. That's a great example of how good a player Jason Allen is. I mean, he shot the ball, followed his shot, got it back, and put it in the hole. Something that's got to improve for Bill Cohen. Allen with the extra pass and finds a wide open Jonathan Lee for three. Scheme gives it right back to Rodriguez, who buries the three. Flashing to the hoop because Jonathan Lee couldn't finish there. Nixon from Rodriguez and one. What a great setup that was to get the ball to his teammate Nixon. He ran the floor. He rewarded him for that by getting him the basketball. Pearson calling for the basketball. Ryan Pearson turns and look at the follow by Alex Harris. Great start to a busy afternoon of CAA basketball on Comcast Sportsnet. And when you need something inside, go to Jamie Skeen. Brandenburg underneath, and one! That was a great pass, a great catch, and a great finish. That's just a great basketball play. Bird just bodied up by Kari Block and turned it over. This time, Alex Harris rolls to the hole and gets it to drop. The start of a triple-header day of CAA basketball on Comcast Sportsnet. And Ed Nixon with the latest volley. Before the conference play, it goes Jerry with another steal. And another Sel one. selfishly gives it up to the man for his 26th point. Well, our final score, Virginia Commonwealth 73, Northeastern 64. Welcome inside the Patriots Center here, home of the George Mason Patriots, where today they play host to the Georgia State Panthers. And shot clock again, down to six, Johnson. Two, they got to put something up. McGee hits it. Fields, good little move, but didn't know where he wanted to go with it after that. Intercepted Cam Long. On the break. And Cornelius ties the game at eight. McGee for three. Got it. Both teams, this is a defensive battle out here. Neither team is playing well except for only on the offensive end. Tate with a shot clock at five, and he hits a three. Nice backdoor play for the jam for Ryan Pearson. And that's an excellent pass by Mike Morrison to make the little pocket bounce pass. You don't find too many bigs that can make that kind of pass, and that was an excellent pass. With nine turnovers. And you saw the graphic, they've yet to score for over six minutes. Finally, a basket on the far side by Dante Curry, and it's a trick. Ali with 10 on the shot clock. Finds Curry, he was open, and he knocks it down. Dante Curry for the three. We got two team fouls in each team here in the second half. Now Cornelius for three. Little short, but the tip by Cam Long. The ball gets in his hands, good things happen. Now three by Curry, he connects, and Georgia State needed that. Georgia State, fourth team foul. Again, deep underneath for Pearson, this time a basket and a foul. And then speaking of which, they get a steal off the press. That's great for the Panthers. And now have a chance to try to cut into the six-point lead as Fields drives in, gets hit, and hits the basket. <laughs> I tell you, they're not going away quietly. That was a tough move by Fields to take the bump and lay it in off the basketball, out the backboard. It's a four-point Mason lead again, Fields. 
And good defense by Morrison. He almost threw it away, and Hancock is going to be fouled. He makes the basket. Dante Curry for Georgia State is 4 of 8 from three-point range. Speaking of which, long for three, and he hits it. Cam Long, what a crossover, and what a move to the basket for two. George Mason knocks off Georgia State by 15 to stay undefeated at home, 66 to 51. Rejected again, and here's Charles Jenkins with the high dribble over the timeline. McClendon, three ball. He's got five in about 30 seconds since he checked in. Keyan Carter with his first two, so six in a row by Old Dominion have cut the lead in half. Jenkins off the spin going glass. Wow. Carter got it. It's in the paint. They kick it back outside. James for three. Good, and here comes the pride with Kelleher. Quiet Old Dominion, Mike Moore, his first three of the game. Team right now out rebounding Hofstra 19 to 9. And right now the pride goes with Jenkins baseline, left hand off the window. Here's Delancey, that's Bazemore, Iliadis. Bazemore for a long three. Bazemore with five, long three. Oh, another three ball for Kent Bazemore. Old Dominion with the lead. That out rebounds its opponent by just under 11 a game. Three ball. Darius James, his second of the game. Jenkins again likes to go left and spins back to his right. Slap from his hands. Look ahead for Bazemore. Ahead of the field. Got him to within four right now. But going back to work is Frank Casellan. You're a big guy. You're not going to stop that. It's unbelievable how they get an offensive rebound on virtually every possession. If you look up the word rebound in the dictionary, you see Old Dominion's team photo there as Finney knocks down a three ball. Bazemore ahead of the field. That might be the exclamation point. Somehow He's got 16. Bazemore sneaks out. Yeah. Hofstra loses him, and that's. <laughs> but Moore trains a three. He's got 19. Moore lost it, and here's Bazemore against Kelleher. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.